looking at severe weather preparedness week and it's time when people should work out a game plan to be ready when that severe weather strikes. News Channel 18's Alex Dyro joins us now live from West Lafayette. Alex? Thanks, Tiffany. We are here at the Tippecanoe uh, Villas, just north of West Lafayette. Joining me now is Tippecanoe County Emergency Management Director, Smokey Anderson. Now, we did have a test of those emergency sirens today. How did that go? Uh, it went good. Around 1017, we were notified by the National Weather Service. Actually, we were notified by the state police who were notified by the National Weather Service um, to activate this outdoor warning system and our system, which we did. Uh, we did have seven sirens out of 70 that failed to operate, including this one here at the villa. And we're working on that actively right now to get those problems corrected, hopefully before this evening's test. Okay. Now, um, when people hear these sirens in real life, should there be uh, an emergency, what should they do? The outdoor warning sirens could be activated for a chemical release or maybe for some other release for some other issues. Uh, but typically, if we're having a severe storm at the time, you should probably think that that's probably why we're activating them and seek shelter in the lowest level in their house. And again, they should have a plan, and that's kind of what we want everyone to work on today, have a plan in place. Okay. Now, what if uh, people don't hear the sirens or they're too far away from one during a storm to hear it? What should they do? Well, common sense would tell them to, to watch the, their surroundings. There's a lot of ways that they can be notified. Our office was notified by five different methods this morning of this of this alert. So there are a lot of the radio and TV is a good thing to just tune into. Uh, leave the TV on, TV 18, for example. It's good to get that information, and they should have a plan in place to seek shelter. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us here today, reporting live from the Tippecanoe Tippecanoe Villas in West Lafayette. Alex Dyro, News Channel 18.